Hello, happy Friday. Coming to you from the parking lot of school, we are on our way to go wander out TJ Maxx for a little bit. Look, I have orchestra tape on my sweatshirt. And then we're gonna go pick up dinner and we're gonna go home. So I'll check in with you guys when I get there. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing some Christmas shopping. It was a nice day at work. Kids were really relatively well behaved today. Cause again, Fridays are not the days I have behavior problems. It's always like the days before that. Yeah, uh, TJ Maxx was a success. I'll show you some of the stuff I got. I got like random stuff that no one really cares about, but I got these, they're called, they're from Woolsey's. It's a, uh, they're chapstick. Because, or lip balm, cause Lord knows I need more. So this is Mary Berry. It's got shea butter, beeswax, coconut oil, alva, grape seed oil, vitamin E. This one is orange, rosemary, peppermint, and eucalyptus oils. This one is cinnamon sugar. So that's all the same stuff, but cinnamon, chamomile, and orange essential oils. And then this one is gingerbread. And it's peppermint, ginger, clove, and cardamom essential oils. Ooh, I haven't used these yet. Hmm, that's nice. Very natural, very like farm markety. I like it. Um, I got my mug for the year. Wait for it. Oh uh, yeah. I figured this was a good one because I can use it like in the winter too. It's not just Christmassy. And it's it's literal a literal bucket. I I didn't even check to see if I saw how many ounces it is. It's peppermint and pine is the brand. It is dishwasher and microwave safe, which is fine because we don't have a dishwasher. I do everything by hand. So yeah, that'll be good. Some of my cabinet mugs in the cabinet are being retired. So that's a good replacement for one, a couple that are being retired. Um, I found peppermint chai tea, which does indeed have caffeine in it. Cause I struggle with finding holiday tea or like some flavored tea that has caffeine in it. A lot of the Christmas stuff is herbal and I don't do herbal tea because I just don't. But I think it smells pretty good. We're going to give it a try. Um, the brand is... Unknown. Yeah, it's just Joy Peppermint Chai Tea. There's 50 bags in here. I paid $4 for it. <laughs> so, yay. And then um, I really like Taylor's Tea. Um, I got Colin... One of the things I got that like you don't need to see because it's not super exciting because I got a box of English breakfast for Colin for his morning tea. And I got a spiced Christmas tea. And again, it has caffeine in it, I hope. Yeah, black tea, orange and spices, and other natural flavorings. Yes. Yay. So, might have that instead of coffee tomorrow? I don't know. I haven't been on a, like, I, I ordered today. Um, I, I take back my sass about Duncan's menu being lame. It just wasn't up yet. Um, the cookie cold brew is back. They put like literal chunks of like cookie on the top of it. That's pretty good. And today I had the spiced cookie co iced coffee that they actually make with oat milk. And I didn't actually have to add any sweetener to it. And it was really good. So definitely check that one out. I have yet to try scooters and I probably won't end up going to Caribou because it's kind of out of the way for me. Slash I'm lazy and don't like learning new menus. So um, fun mail today. I got two stickers from Pacific Knit Co. I got this one and whoop, this one. These are, I put my friendship bracelets on my water. And this one. So this, ba <laughs> this bottle is pretty much all Pacific Knit Co. And then my two Bumblebee Acre stickers. So that's exciting. No yarn mail. Um, I don't know when the next yarn mail is coming. Probably next week. And since today is Friday, this will go up on Saturday and then you won't hear from me probably again until Tuesday. So I guess these will probably be Tuesday and Tuesday through Saturday vlogs that cover Monday through Friday because weekends. So uh, I picked up Jimmy John's for dinner. What's weird is all the children that I've encountered today have been great, but adults have not. So that's been fun. TG Maxx was a zoo. I don't know if they just put Christmas stuff out, but it was banana pans there was so many people there but at least it wasn't a disappointing trip like it has been the last couple of times I've gone I have this tendency to be on that side of town when I get paid so I go just for fun Ooh, one of the other things I got too were these um 
I look like the bottom of a drumstick. If you're not from America, drumsticks are those ice cream. It's like an ice cream cone with the chocolate and like peanuts and stuff on top. And they make like different flavors and whatnot. But the bottom of the cone has like fudge in it. So it's just the bottom of a waffle cone. It's got dark chocolate, peppermint chocolate on the inside. And it's pretty good too. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna hunker in and knit. I'm probably gonna get my anthology throw out. Good news, I hunted down the rest of my Fox Hill Farms Cormo. I could not find it. I found one giant cake. This I think is one. I think that's one. We'll, we'll talk about this really quick. So like I said, I've wound this up and like I've tried to make several things with it. I think this is at least one. This is definitely two. I don't know what this is. I, again, cast something on. So I think I have seven because I know where four are. This was five and I think this is six and seven. So I should have more than enough to make farm chores, which is what this is. So again, yeah, I really want to work on this. Maybe I'll work on this and not, not my anthology. I really want my anthology done because I want to use it, but also, Ooh, that's a gross. I don't know what this is. Ew. Um, I guess I'll find out when I get there. Um, I just don't really want to, um, oh good, it's on the ball I'm working on. I just don't want to, uh, care, like, throw it around tonight. I'm feeling a little run down. I think it's just, it's the end of the week. And I've had a little bit of a stressful week, because I am a teacher. Um, and it's, you know, end of the quarter, and Halloween was this week, and just, like, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna not deal with that. Tomorrow, I'll just give you kind of a rundown on the weekend since I won't talk to you again until afterwards. Um, tomorrow we are going up to Appleton to hang out with my sister and her family. So her husband, my brother-in-law, and um, her children, my niece and nephew. Um, and we're having lunch and we're going to the mall. And because my <laughs> niece and nephew don't know what a mall is because they're not a thing. I think I talked about this on Vlogtober as well. But just to, oh, there we go. Just to kind of fill you in on what, what we're doing and then I'm going to spend a lot of this weekend catching up on assignments for uh, boot camp because everything has to be in by Thursday and we start project three on Monday. So it'd be nice to have everything wrapped up for this weekend. We also have to do laundry and grocery shopping, standard weekend activities, but it's supposed to be not the greatest weather or not. It's kind of warm. It says it's 50. It does not feel like 50. It is cloudy and gray outside, but it's not like raining. Or anything it's not precipitating in any way it's just cloudy and gray so if you're seeing early bedtime tonight we um I don't know if I said this or not but we put we winterized the bed so it's like got the flannel duvet cover on it and we put the big blue cotton blanket on that we don't use in the summer and a weighted blanket's on there which is always on there and we changed the sheets and I changed the pillow like totally like redid it so it's been very uh it's very, very cozy <laughs> And we sleep with the window open like this much so our room doesn't get too hot so we lived in an apartment for six years that only had a skylight in our bedroom because we lived in a loft uh, if you watch early vlogmases from 2019 and 2020 that's the apartment we were living in and it was a, it was a loft so we got no airflow up there in the in the winter or the summer <laughs> so it was hot all the time so I like to take advantage of having a the window thankfully is on my side of the bed so Colin doesn't get too cold because I was raised in a house where we slept with the windows open even in the dead of winter because it's good to sleep cold. Sleeping cold is the best. If you read all those like good sleep articles on, you know, that Calm sends out, <laughs> those that cool sleeping temperature is what's needed. All right. Standard Midwestern goodbye from me. And <laughs> I will check in with you guys later. I hope you've had a lovely Friday and I will see you at the beginning of next week. Bye.